Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Lau from Kenchan Crafts, and today I wanted to share with you all um, this uh, new ink that I bought um, from Endless Pens. This is Wearing Ghouls Wuthering Heights, um, and it is an Endless Pens exclusive ink. Um, and uh, this is, I think, my second Wearingle ink bottle that I have. The first one I've bought was um, Alice. Um, it's a really, really um, beautiful sky blue with gold shimmer in it. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, I can do another video on that uh, sometime. Um, but this one is an exclusive, and I have not seen anybody really you know, showcasing it or just showing how it, it looks um, in videos. I've seen a lot of... Uh, pictures on Instagram and stuff like that, but I just really wanted to have this for myself um, and um, put it in my pens and write with it um, because seeing the swatches online, they looked so nice. Um, this is, as you can see here, um, well, it, it's kind of like a dark blue on the screen, but it is, <clears throat> um, this is like a grayish blue. And then it's also got really pretty um, shimmer. Uh, the shimmer is gray, uh, is it? No, no. It's silver and green. So here it is. Take it out of the box. Wuthering Heights. And I, um, I believe this ink is based off of um, a novel by Emily Bront. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but here's the shimmer. See that? It's really pretty. Sorry for the glare from my <laughs> light there. Okay. With shimmer inks, you can have to kind of agitate the bottle a little bit. Um, and I kind of just do these back and forth motions. If I shake it too much, there will be lots of air bubbles in there. So I try not to do that. Sorry, my voice might sound a little odd today. Just, um, it's been very cold here. Um, I live in the central area of, um, and it's been in the negative 14 degrees recently. But yeah, okay, so here is Wuthering Heights. Um, today I'm going to do a swatch of it in my, um, Tomoe River Paper notebook, and I will also do some test writing with it um, in my bullet journal. to shake it again because the shimmer settled to the bottom <clears throat> so if any of you guys were also were um, wondering about this ink um, there's another ink that's very similar this is the other one is the wearing ghoul uh, half uh, half dimmed moonlight I think it's a very long name and I don't remember all of it but I also have been eyeing that one so I might also get that one soon but that one is uh, it's not an exclusive uh, and this one is the Endless Pens exclusive one. So you can see in the swatch here, it's like a light slate gray with some light blue undertone. And then I'm just going to do a second swatch here. Um, more ink. And when there's more ink, you let it dry up. You'll see the shimmer. Okay, so yeah, that's the base color. It's such a pretty gray. I, um, and it's because it's got like this nice blue undertone to it. It's uh, very legible looking. Um, and I just absolutely enjoy looking at that color. So 
I don't have a lot of gray inks. Actually, I think this is my only gray ink. <laughs> and um, I usually think of grays as like a muted black or like, you know, just a light, light black. But it's so cool and fun to have all these other grays that have different tones underneath um, to make them more interesting. And uh, this one, I was not disappointed at all. So very happy with this color. So in here, I have all my old, oh, all my <laughs> Lamy collection. And um, I bought this white silver Lamy a while ago. And I've always kind of just had random colors inked up in it. But now I have a silver or gray um, to put in it. So here's my Lamy All Star in white silver. I'm not sure which special edition this was, but it, um, and I have in here a medium nib so that it will hopefully show off the ink, um, the shimmer ink really well. So as it's drying, I'm not sure if you can like see how it's like not just gray. <laughs> um, it almost like to me looks like a green blue. Um, that's very, very gray. <laughs> okay. So I did already ink it up in this pen. Um, and uh, let's uh, shake, you know, stir it a bit so that the shimmer is distributed. I like the about these Lamy All-Stars on the, uh, the grip section. It's semi-translucent, so you can kind of see what's going on inside. <laughs> um, and, you know, the the feed in there, um, and you can see the shimmer getting caught up in the feed. <laughs> um, my Lamy's with shimmers have not um, clogged before. So, um, and all the shimmers that I've put in my Lamy's are also appears to be um, well-behaving shimmers. And I'm hoping that Wuthering Heights will also be a really well-behaving shimmer. Um, oh, I just love the bottle. Look at that. It just, it sheens with that beautiful, um, what is that, iridescent, rainbowy, um, you know, <laughs> shine. Not sure of the right words for all that. Excuse my lang uh, English there. <laughs> um, okay, so... Yeah, uh, so none of my Lamy's have clogged before, so I'm very happy about that. I only have one fine nib, which I don't use for the shimmers. I use all my mediums and stub nibs. So um, extra fine and fine nibs might not show your inks, your shimmer inks really well. <clears throat> all right, so let's do a, actually, before I do that, oh my goodness, <clears throat> I wanted to do a dip pen writing sample. So we can just see the difference between a broader nib and I guess the fountain pen nib. Actually this is a very fine um, what is this? dip pen. <laughs> okay. This is Ringo. <clears throat> hmm. Wuthering Heights. Did I spell it right? I think I did, yeah. This is a 30 milliliter bottle. by Emily Bront, oh, M inspired by Emily Bront. Okay, so not, it seems like it's not super saturated where like it's not um, going down my dip pen so well. Um, and just writing a little bit, it starts to kind of, um, taper off in terms of how much ink is on my nib. Most inks usually if I just twist and turn my um, dip pen it will still write 
with a lot of ink. So this may be a drier flowing ink. Um, again, uh, most shimmer inks I've experienced are drying, dry flowing just because they have the particles in it, which is to be expected. Um, some of them do flow much better. I have like a Diamine, the Diamine Firefly ink. Um, I bought a full bottle of that one because it just gushed out of the pen. And, um, you know, based off of that, I know it's a really nice flowing ink. So this one, while it may be drier, um, it still looks very nice um, as I write with it. So let's now test it with my Lamy. So this is my Lamy All Star. White, silver. Medium nib. Okay, so the writing experience with this ink and pen combo is very smooth. I like it a lot. Um, I tried it the other day and it was very scratchy because the shimmer particles in here obviously will make it sound scratchy when it comes out of the nib. Um, but depending on your paper you use, it might not be as scratchy sounding. Um, and the Maybe also it wasn't as scratchy, as probably because there weren't any shimmers really coming out. Um, the shimmer in this ink is very tiny and it's also very, um, very subtle. So let's take a look at that. Wow, this is such a pretty, pretty gray. Um, for you uh, folks that love gray, I think you should definitely try this out. I don't know if, you know, Vanessa would have samples of this, or other um, vendors out there may may or may not have samples of these, so you might just have to get the whole thing. But if you love gray, you won't be disappointed. This is a beautiful, beautiful gray. Look at that shimmer. <gasps> now, like my out of the dip or out of the pen, like I can't really see the shimmer, which is kind of sad and disappointing. <laughs> um, but if you have a much, much wetter um, pen uh, or nib, you'll be able to see this really beautiful shimmer. Um, and if it's super wet nib as well, you can see the, the different kind of um, shading with this ink as well. Um, but I mean, I can see the shading here. It's a dark gray and then a very light gray. In the light gray, you can definitely see the blue undertone. So really really pretty ink and i um definitely will be you know using this um pen <laughs> combo i mean obviously i bought this hoping to use it with um gray inks but at the time i wasn't really into gray inks but now i am exploring that and i'm very happy with this one um so I may or may not buy the other Wearing Gold Gray ink, the Half um, Moon or Dimmed, Half Dim Moon um, ink from Wearing Gold. I'll put it on there. I don't <laughs> remember the full name of it. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that gray ink as well be showcased, um, you know, let me know down in the comments. So today's just going to be a short video. Um, kind of showcasing this and then I will just do some writing and end the video with some writing um, clips. So thank you so much for joining me and um, exploring and watching me, um, you know, just swatch and explore or swatch and experience this ink. Very happy to uh, share these with you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up um, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already uh, for more videos um, about fountain pens, stationery, all kinds of fun um, inking uh, in the future. Um, again, I appreciate everyone for watching. Thank you so much. Bye.